Stella, should we go look at some cars? Good girl. Hey, can I let Stella out? Yep, yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Holy, look at this Dodge collection here, hey? Some sweet old girls out here, hey? Yeah, here is. Gotta watch the brush pile. When we're doing the house there, they ripped it in and stirred it back here. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice car. Uh, that one's got a 3 to 3 Magnum in it. That's a new port. Uh, Imperial. I got more shit out back here that you guys haven't seen yet. Sure, the sure. There's the beast if you're interested in this one. Let's have a look at it. 59 Viscount, eh? Canada car. Go over. Will it? Oh, yeah. These are not good handles, so I don't pull hard on them. <coughs> Pretty rusty and crusty, but. That's stuck in the ground now, probably. Oh, there's trim on the ground too. We'll have to grab all that. Yeah. Like someone was playing, maybe. We didn't find much in the trunk except for the cool uh, trunk spare tire option, same as the 59 Fury has. So that's really uh, a worthwhile find in this car. Also, pretty excited about the double trunk antennas, both still there in decent shape, so that's very exciting. Uh, this stuff is all 59 Fury. There's why I bought the car. Um, so from the windshield back, it's basically a 59 Fury uh, in Canada called a Viscount and with a Dodge front clip. But everything is basically Plymouth. It even has the Plymouth emblem on the dash. It is a 59 Fury, basically. Um, it's got the clock, the radio's gone, it's a three on the tree with a poly, so pretty cool, the deluxe wheel, pretty excited about that, even though the clear plastic is missing from it, the rest of it's in good shape. I don't know uh, what I'll do with it, but there it is. Um, door panels, doors all open and closed nice, reasonable door panels, bits of the interior okay, there's extra trim in it. Looks like there's one wheel covered over there. Um, I don't know. It's a pretty good addition to the pile, I guess. Unfortunately, the mirrors are missing the part that makes them mirrors. But some old uh, brazed in rust repairs, pretty standard fitment on these cars. But the 59 Dodge Grill, always a classic and pretty complete. Hood ornament on it still. All the headlights in it.
overall pretty cool uh, rocker moldings are structural on this car I think the back door seem to work nice a lot of the trim is still intact so you know this door is pretty rough what do you think still you care what are you doing What a great piece, 59 Dodge Viscount. One year only model. Only in Canada. There you go. <laughs> well, let's have a look at it. <coughs> right well, on. Hello, Polly. Polly. Fly out. She's dusty. Well, oh, it's not all seized up or anything. Right? It's not all gummed up. Looks like it's usually the accelerator pump will stick. So it might, uh, but it's seized, right? So it doesn't really matter if the carburetor works because the engine is stuck. You never know. Very nice look roof rail. Sure, lots of good pieces on yeah, this car. Sure. Look at this, how nice this piece is. That might actually go on the other car. This one is damn near perfect. Dual whip antennas. Double whips. The spare tire cover thing, great option. How's the deck lid? Decent. Great, uh, great emblems and stuff. I wonder how many of these are left. How many, uh... The Viscounts? Viscounts are left. I can't think many. I don't think I've ever seen another one. In I person. I one. I think there was one at Alden, maybe. Open the door, check it out. Operational. I oiled them. But padded dash, very unique. That was an option. Great the optional wheel, really nice wheel in it. And the knight in shining armor. Still shining. Yeah, still shining. Pretty sweet. Maybe need a little vitamin B right here. Yeah, you we should see dust the that gravel. In. We should dust gravel that in. through Look there. It. We should mud right over Moss, the lichen and everything. Leaves, just yeah. dust that right in. Look at the old repair, eh? Big brass. That's not, you know, terrible for a 1960s era repair. Hey, the, it's holding up okay, aside from there and there. Oh, I think bit. it's, I wonder where the other, it almost goes right like underneath. It right over top of the old Oh yeah, for sure. Stuff, yeah. Just at least an inch of overlap. Hammer it on there. And oh, man, that's, that's not <laughs> very good though. Look at how they just beat it down too, eh? Just, Sure, so the trim would stay. Yeah, well it goes right underneath the trim, so that's cool. So if you, uh, that's, yeah. uh, you could tidy that up. That would tidy. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, ooh. That I don't like to see your right. B pillar moving you like that. You don't see the B post move that much when you close the door. <laughs> <laughs> what color is it? This is like, like a pink. pink, it's yeah. pink. Salmon, I don't know. 
what color they call it. Give it a little it's very box. good under here. You can see it looks orange in the camera, but it's it is like so a pinky salmon. salmon color. What color is here? White yeah, or it's gray. Kind of off white. It's a off grayish. White. And yeah. rust primarily oh, that for the rest thin, of it. Eh? She's thin up there. Yeah, now. not much left. But you know, not a dent in it. That's a very low crown roof. Nothing's ever dented that. It's just been rained on for a few years. Some old light parking lot damage repair there. Didn't hold up well. <clears throat> Did not hold up well. Doesn't look like they ever actually got it painted. It's like somebody was prepping it to paint it. So feather our, edger marks all over yeah, the place. Yeah, well, 80 grit. <laughs> marks all over it. They put this all together in Bondo and never painted it because this is all feather edge too. No, that's trees. You recognize that from trees blowing back and forth. Because that's pretty bad feather edging. It's actually not bad. There are people, tree did there a are nice people job. who could learn yeah, from this tree. Definitely. There are people out there who cannot feather edge as well as this tree did. <laughs> well, it's what no it's no 49 Fraser. 